Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, let me turn this music down. Hi. Hi, welcome to the show. This is the Conversations with Bronze with my special guest, Miss Hart. How are you today? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. I so, am doing well. Great. Yeah, I'm getting feedback. You're getting feedback? Turn your mute button on. Can you, can okay. you hear me? Is that better? How about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Fine. Okay. All right, good. So we got some topics to talk about tonight, huh? I didn't get the um, topics, though. Uh, I was looking on my tablet. I didn't see um, those three, but I'm going to try to remember. So try to uh, keep me focused on those topics that you want to discuss well, today. Okay. Well, I, I think I got... Uh-huh. I think I need to go out and come back in because I'm echoing. Okay. Yeah, try that again. Okay. Um, okay. So I know. I'll be right like, right. Okay. Okay. Yes, guys. So we have a lot to talk about tonight. Um, we have some topics about what's going on in the culture, especially when it affects Black people. Because, you know, a lot of us, you know, we pay attention to what's going on in the news. We live, we go outside, we work with different people. We are everywhere around this world okay so a lot of things affect us but we just don't get you know a chance to voice our opinions and like we're we're seeing that how some of the celebrities are voicing their opinions and some are getting you know a lot of uh pushback uh let's see hold on one second i'm trying to pull you in here one second Okay, it says connect your mic and your cam before you can add them to the um, stream. Okay, there we go. Okay, I have okay. to change my avatar when I get a chance. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Um, but still, yes, I know we wanted to talk about what has been going on in the news, like with uh, Kanye. Yes. We want to uh, dabble with Kanye. We want to talk about manifestation and we also wanted to talk about um what was the other one the uh, the other one was um along the lines of manifestation there's a <clears throat> an uh, author she's african-american uh -huh. and she wrote a book uh called the nap ministries and it made my ears perk up because i heard nap but um I took it in a negative way, like, wait a minute, is she talking about hair? But it's not about that. It's about getting rest. So oh, okay. Yes. And you know what? That ties into a lot of what we're probably going to talk about yes. with the Kanye West. And and people are, you know, saying that he, he has a mental illness and, yes. and that's why he's so boisterous and stuff like that. But that's going to tie into what I want to say. But let's get back with to the Kanye West. Yes. Um, because I think it's very important that um, we talk, we we share our opinions. And even though we, our opinions may be different, but we still agree on some things. Okay. So I want my audience just to know that. And we all have um, the right to share our opinions, voice our opinions. And we shouldn't be threatened by what we are saying because I have been hearing a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Whether Kanye is right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? They want to uh, say that he has something's wrong with him mentally. 
something is wrong with him. But I believe Kanye is very a very strategic person. It may not his energy may not be going in the right direction. So what are your thoughts about that? So um if you don't mind, just a little recap on the recent <clears throat> the recent issue that um has come up about about Kanye. If we can just recap it. Because uh, we, we already know, like, you know, the antics, and, and again, like you said, it's there are things we agree on, and we just are, these are just our personal opinions. Yes. And I don't want to try to diagnose Kanye, so if I say something that is improper, um, I mean, I'm not saying it from a medical standpoint, because I'm, right. I'm not in that field. Or have right. that professional certification. Right. This is just, off, like you said, off my personal experience, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. and we can always say disclaimers. This is our own a personal opinions. We are not medical doctors. Mm -hmm. nor do we yes. Because I hate when people call someone crazy, and it's like, who are you to call someone crazy? You know, mm -hmm. you, right. you don't have the credentials to say that. So anyways, just a recent recap. You know, Kanye is out during Fashion Week, and Kanye joins forces with Candace Owens. If the audience doesn't know Candace Owens, you can Google her. She's a big-time Trump supporter. She's uh, against the Black Lives Matter movement. She's African-American. What some people also don't know is this same woman that is against the Black culture, when she was 14 years old, her and mm -hmm. her grandparents sued a white neighbor for um, trying to commit some kind of crime against her. And she won in a lawsuit. She won $15,000. Somehow mm -hmm. along the way, she, she has changed and she doesn't care mm -hmm. for the black community. She's now married to a white man. Not that that matters, but you can Google Candace Owens if you don't know her. So he right. joined yeah, for I know her. Mm -hmm. And she's, oh, I was just meaning the audience if they don't know her. Mm -hmm. Um, she's joined, she joined forces with Kanye during, uh, fashion week and Kanye came out with a white lives matter t-shirt. Mm. One of his, and what, what he accompanied with that picture in a tweet, he said, it's on, we all know that the black lives matter, uh, movement was a scam. He said, we all know that BLM was a scam. And he says, now I'm going to war on y'all. Mm -hmm. So in that, uh, some celebrities came out, some male cele celebrities like Jaden Smith, who was at the show, Lil Bootsy, um, mm -hmm. and uh, Diddy came out and spoke against it. And I, I feel like I'm going to just talk about Diddy because I watched the interview. You watched some of it also, Braun. Diddy, mm -hmm. um, you know, Karen Lee spoke to Kanye and said, I support Kanye. I support that he's a free thinker. I do too. I support anyone in our community in this world who is a free thinker. You, Because I right. feel like you have to be when everything that's going against us and these robots and society telling us how to think. I, I applaud Kanye for that. Yeah, and I Thank do you. too because, you know, I'm mm -hmm. a free thinker and that's why I created you are. this channel. Yep. I created yep. this channel just for that because I do like I have been suppressed so much in different areas of my life when it comes to me being an independent thinker, a strong minded individual and a black woman. OK, so as as black women, we already know what is against us and how we have to be the strong person for not only yes. just ourselves, but for our whole community. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So. And, and so, you know. There are some people out there that says ignore Kanye. Some people that I, I've, I've seen comments where people say, well, white lives does matter. Now, look, we all know what happened with that BLL movement, the organization. Right. right. Um, it was, it was malfeasant. There was, yeah, there was, there was some fraud. It was some mishandling. That does not negate yes. that right now. I feel very passionate about this because I have brothers. I have a father. I am black. Yes. 
That's and I, I, I am, I love my people. I love all people. Mm -hmm. Let me just, just because I love black people doesn't mean I dislike white people. Right. And we don't have to feel, and you know what, we don't, for my listening audience, we don't have to feel guilty for saying that because a yeah. lot of us feel so guilty for saying it because the mainstream will try to make you feel guilty for saying that. Yeah. It, literally attack you and then when it comes to their issues they will totally ignore us they will say every other race besides us and that's the thing and i watched a clip that you know you share with me and i'm not going against what uh the young lady the lady said uh what was her name jamie lee curtis but I, I didn't and, hear there's a, and we haven't discussed that so mm -hmm. i don't know we both don't know our ta uh, take on uh take on that i would love if we if you're able to play it, if you're not able to play it, we could discuss it and you yes. could just mention it to the I'm audience. I'm going to play it. I'm going to try to play it because um, it, it, let me see. I just I wanted, it but I it. just wanted to just make it clear, like words matter. And we as black people, this is a epidemic. We, the scales are not balanced. We, we still mm -hmm. live and come from households where there are, there's financial insecurity where we are living in in school zones where they are doing modern get modern day segregation with our schools when you sit here and you wonder why your co-worker's son goes to an a school and you, you and in your neighborhood where your kids go to school they're all d and whatever schools there's modern day segregation going on in the in the school system, meaning how they are segregating and busing black children off to uh, areas where the school zones are not funded like other school zones. Mm -hmm. If you look at Mississippi, look at what just happened with Mississippi and uh, when that whole flooding and you found out about how they had money, money that came from the infrastructure bill and how this how this state doesn't even have the didn't have the funding to get these people clean water. Tell mm -hmm. me why these things happen in communities where people are black. Right. Look at look at statistics on um births. And I and I I have a personal story I won't go into this. Look at uh pregnancy births of black babies and look at how many black babies are uh dying when the mother mm -hmm. is in labor. Um, right. Look at um, another example. If you go and look at statistics with HUD and if you look at middle to low income households where you have, say, a black family, even mixed couples and they go mm -hmm. to refinance their house. And, and if you go on YouTube, you can find several videos of this. They go to refinance their house and the, um, the, the adjuster comes in, the insurance adjuster comes in and says, oh, your house is only worth a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. And and the couple's done their research. One couple, she was a professor, and her um husband was just a musician. This was a mixed couple. So what they did, they waited six months. They had she had her husband there, and she got her white friend to come in as her. That mm -hmm. house that uh, yeah, that I amount. That. That amount that they actually got out of the next adjuster coming in, well, it wasn't a hundred thousand. They were in a community where the homes were like four hundred thousand. Their mm -hmm. home got adjusted, and it was two hundred and fifty thousand more when they had previously only gotten like a fifty thousand dollar increase on the value of their home. Mm -hmm. So until the and, and let's not even talk about how black men are treated, how many black men are incarcerated, um, how, how these senseless deaths of black men and black people, it is an epidemic. So for Kanye to go out there with his privileged self, because mm -hmm. he has the he has the influence and he has the finances that if him or his kids, God forbid, are ever in these situations that I have listed, he can get out of it. Mm -hmm. He does. He, in, in my yeah. opinion, in my opinion, he doesn't care about us. We mm -hmm. just my opinion, not bronze is just my. We need to let Kanye be to the side and pray for him. This man doesn't con He doesn't care about us. I know that he's I know from the news and from his his ex-wife's previous 
statements when they were married that he's been diagnosed with bipolar. Look, okay. that does not give you a right to beat me up. Right. And Can this, I, is, I'm, this is abusive at this I'm, point, what Kanye is doing to the culture. And, okay. And, and that's, I told you you got to temper me because, you know. Yeah. And I, I want to, I'm glad you shared that, that part of it because, like, in, in everything, there's two sides to a story. And um, there is a clip that I want to play. But we're echoing right now. Do you have your mute button? Can you put your mute button on real okay. quick? I'm gonna play yeah. this. Okay. One second. I'm gonna play this clip. And we're gonna discuss this. When Lizzo, when Lizzo loses, loses 10 pounds, 10 pounds and, announces and announces it, the bots, the bots uh, that's, uh, a that's a term for uh, people like, people it's, like, like it's like telemarketer call, call, like, callers like on Instagram, on Instagram they, attack they attack her for losing weight. weight. Because, because the media, the media wants, wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when, when it's actually unhealthy. Yeah. Let's get aside the fact of whether it's fashion and vogue, which is not. Which is not. Let's, 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 let's just, or, or if someone if thinks, thinks it's attractive, attractive to each his own. It's, it's actually, actually clinically unhealthy. unhealthy. And, and for, for people, people to, to, to promote that. Promote that. What do you think that? What do you think about that? I'm so glad you brought that up because I was going to bring that up um, later on when we were just talking about like self-care and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Kanye is the Kanye is the son of Trump. Mm -hmm. Kanye uses trigger words, trigger conversations to bring you in. You also so you, to tell, so you, let me just you really you have to let you, me just say I'm a, I'm a okay, okay. you have to pay attention to why the messenger is delivering the message. Uh, Kanye is getting something something out of this. When you when you on your other channel talk about gang stalking and all that, it's something happening to you. You want uh -huh. people to be aware. You yes. are not benefiting. You are not benefiting off of us getting this. Not in no way. Not from Kanye cash apps, not from yes. uh, pay programming. Kanye is, this is a trigger. And here's my thing. You don't have to throw somebody else under the bus to make your point. I, mm. I don't like how people are treating Lizzo because here's my take on what he said. Really think about this. You mm. said so he said some key things and you have to listen to it like three or four times. Yeah. He said, yeah. Lizzo, she goes to my trainer. Hold on, chew on that. Now we all we all know the whole controversy with Lizzo. People are saying Lizzo promotes um she's promoting being fat, she's promoting body body positivity. And what Liz what I think Lizzo is actually doing is mm -hmm. kind of along the lines of when you talk about manifesting. She's mm -hmm. nothing against her. Hey, I used to be, I think, I think I'm still fat, but maybe not. I'm still chunky and I'm still chunky. And, and you know what? It's because it's a lot of stress we, we deal with. There's a lot of uh, foods that we eat, have all kinds of ingredients and artificial flavors and colorings and, and, and toxins. Our body retains a lot of this stuff and it, we can't get rid of it. That's why detoxing is important. Yeah. But our body, if our body is, is made to be our genetic profile is made to be a little thick and chunky. It should be nobody's fault. I mean, problem but, that I'm thick. You know what I'm saying? But Bronze, I don't think that she, I think if we really think about this and we take all the hype out of this and think about it, I don't think she's promoting being fat. And listen, someone... Well, what is she know, promoting though? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going really to try to explain it. Because I, I wanted to talk about this later about like taking care of yourself and how you treat yourself. I uh -huh. think what she's doing is, look, she's in a vehicle that's a fat body. So uh -huh. right now, let me talk. Let me love on myself. Let me love uh -huh. me the best way I can. If this girl is, pop, is, is truly promoting being fat, here's my question, question to Kanye and everybody that keeps putting this girl down. Why the hell does she have a trainer then? Yeah, 
But you know what? But why do we have to see her in her underwear and in, in her bikini? Well, that's a whole nother thing. Flipping right. and flamping and stuff. Right. You know, right. I, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, I don't that's, care that's, how skinny you are. Yeah. Nobody wants to see you doing that's that. That's a whole nother thing. But when she talks about loving on herself, I, I, yeah. those there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. Right. I love it's, that I'm like, her. she obviously. She obviously does not want to stay at that weight because why could she have the same trainer as Kanye? And well, for people who say, well, she probably hasn't lost much weight. She has mentioned how she's lost weight. And uh -huh. someone who has a condition called PCOS, and people can Google that, mm -hmm. it is, I don't know if she has it. I'm not diagnosing her. But I'm going to tell you right. something. I don't even, I, I've been with a sorority, live with a sorority sister who ate more than me, who mm -hmm. didn't exercise and I exercised, but because of her genetics, mm -hmm. it was extremely hard for me to lose weight with, with PCOS. And, uh, and I never knew I had it. They're just now understanding that. And so now that our little girls that have it, doctors mm -hmm. can give medication, but you'll be wanting to put all that medication in your system. Right, right. And you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't body shame anyone because I'm a thick woman. I mean, I consider myself a little chunky, even though I'm tall and, and thick, you know what I'm saying? I'm still like over the standard average But, you, but size. looking at you, people would not, you, you know, for your viewers, looking at you, to be fair, you're not going, people are not going to think of Lizzo when they look at you. Right, you know? I know, but I'm saying like I like Lizzo. I mean, as a person, I don't even know mm -hmm. her. I just don't. I don't like. I mean, I'm not into her music or anything like that. I mean, it's just that that's just me. I'm, I'm not paying attention to her music right now, so I'm not really paying attention to the what they're saying about her too much. But I do know that she she's been in the in the news and the little blogs and stuff about how she's portraying herself as a entertainer like you know she's coming out she's being having all this you know like not having any clothes on and she's flying yeah, her, I don't her size and her weight yeah and is that a good look for young girls even though she, i see but i see Lizzo, it's like other and it's, look at i mean cardi b look at all of them but see, dress that but see, i think that's one weird when you play kanye's clip kanye's not talking about that because I agree with you. I don't think like I think I saw some show where Lizzo wore, wore this sheer outfit and it, it was showing all her unmentionables, you know, like, girl, why is you doing it? Kanye's not mm -hmm. talking about that. No, because if he talking was talking about, about that, he would no, be I talking he's about, not talking about, about he's talking about being uh his overweight. You know, yeah, overweightness. It's not it's so, but that's he's what not I'm even saying. talking about overweight as in not healthy. He's saying that overweight is healthy. Is the skin, being skinny is not? Um, no, healthy. he didn't. He said no. You you didn't hear the whole clip. He said oh yes, because he unless it's not the whole clip. Because I watched the whole interview. No, that's not the whole clip. That's not the whole clip. That's he a said, short. Because he says he make he makes a good point. He says the stuff he said in there is true. The problem that I have is. Why are you using Lizzo as an example? Because whenever we say something about Kanye, he goes on a tirade. And once again, you know, to not to take this around the world, but it's like, why every time you make a, an example of a black woman, is there not a fat, another fat girl? Like, if we say something to Kanye, he gets in his feelings. But like y'all stop attacking Lizzo about her weight. I don't believe this girl is like, I want to be, I want to be big. I want to be this big all my life because it, it's an oxymoron to me. Because if she did, why did she have a trainer, Kanye? You we didn't, I didn't even know she had a trainer. I'm gonna to, I'm gonna, honestly, I didn't because this is, you know, I really didn't even watch his stuff and watch her stuff mm -hmm. about the Lizzo situation. Um <laughs> I'm going to have to re-listen to it because I believe he was saying, I think people are uh, misconstruing what he was saying. And he no. was saying that, listen, no, listen, I'm saying, mm -hmm, I'm he's, listening. Making, he's making it seem like, you know, 
uh, because she's losing weight, it's such a good thing to be praised, and especially being in the fashion world, they praise being skinny. They praise being no. You need, you need to listen to the whole clip. I'm, I'm gonna listen said, to the whole thing. Yeah, because it's, you, it's you, right you, here. It's right here. Key, you. Let me tell you the key thing he said at the end. He said at the end. He said he said all that, and he said. When we know that being overweight overweight is clinically wrong, he said this is demonic. He, wow. he, I, he, I heard that part, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have to read because that was the first time I ever heard that clip, and I'm gonna have to listen to it because I like to analyze. I like I listen to it. Yeah, to see where they're coming from, how they're saying it, what you. Know, Tony he was not he was not praising he was not praising Lizzo. He was just saying yeah. Lizzo yeah. has Lizzo has a trainer and when she when she loses 10 pounds the bots come out and he's basically like the bots are coming out calling in Kanye's opinion the bots are coming he said the bots he described what bots are he said the bots are uh -huh. coming out saying oh why you losing weight to kind of get Lizzo and her audience to, to go along with being overweight is better. And he said, well, we all know that being overweight is clinically wrong. And he said, this is demonic. Okay, let's listen to another take of his. I have another clip of his, okay? Let's listen to this. My blood pressure is going to be up. <laughs> uh-uh, no, we're going to get off of this in a minute because I definitely don't want okay. that to happen. okay. Okay, let's just listen to this. Okay, hold on. It's a, it's I'm going to go on mute. You know, what, can I ask you? I've noticed this also. Yeah. Okay. Why do you Why think do you they think would want to promote, to promote unhealthiness among the population? It's a genocide of the black race. They want to kill us in any way they can. Planned Parenthood was made by Margaret Sanger, a known eugenics with the KKK. Oh, God. What are bots again? I need it explained. Look, that's a maddening clip. And not only because Tucker Carlson, who has made a career out of condescending to his audience, spoke to Kanye West in literally the most condescending tone I've ever heard in my life. Um, but anyway. Look, Look, he's he's, he's, he's got, got this concern, concern about, about Lizzo or whatever. whatever. He's, he's allowed, allowed to have, have that concern. concern. But, but for, for Tucker, Tucker Carlson, Carlson to treat what he's saying as if it's like the received wisdom of a divine, divine being. All, all, all Kanye was, was doing, doing there is if you asked a guy who just, who just pounded, pounded a, bottle a bottle of whiskey to recount an episode of Joe Rogan, of Joe Rogan that's, that's what you got out of Kanye West. And Tucker Carlson is treating it like it's the most fabulous, fascinating thing that he's ever heard in his life. Unfortunately, yeah. I can't rewind it back because I oh, tried good, that before and I got a strike for that. So I'm not going to rewind it, but we're going to listen to this on off the show and we'll discuss it in more detail but later. But um, we're not going to stay on Kanye. He's, he's yeah. just a mess um, he, with this thing because I believe he's tr truly race bait and he's trying to get this thing to be more than what it what he's pretending to have it as you know what i'm saying he's getting fame he already has fame, yeah. but he wants more of it he, he to me he's a person who's trying to manipulate his uh his platform and the people and everything around him so I do you mind bronze playing did you get the video i sent you last yes it, it, yeah. it's Let not that it's yeah, not that long. I wish I could get where to start the clip. Okay, um, hold on one second, because I'm going to try to have to go to my history to get it. Uh, one okay, second. maybe I, I wonder if I can just resend it. Can you hear me still? No, because no, I'm on. I'm actually on. Um, okay, okay. On StreamYard, so, and I'm on my laptop. So you, here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay, try to, try to start it, like, out. almost in the middle. Is that, is that the new iPhone 14 Pro? Yep. Okay. Sharing through fair use, guys. Disclaimer for commentary purposes, critical analysis, and news reporting. So, in the middle, can you see it? I can. I went on mute. Okay. The only thing is, I can't backtrack it because that's what, like, I 
keep backing it up. And okay, then go it over well, go forward. towards the beginning. Okay. When she right Kanye. before she starts crying. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me when she talks about through. Kanye. Okay. Go to the begin towards the beginning of the video. Yeah, I'm gonna play it right here. Talk, Talk about, about hard, hard things. things. Yeah. Yeah. It was that, that old thing. thing. You're fine. Move on. Move on. Talking about mental illness and right I just here. Love that. That there are ways now. I mean, these devices that we yeah. all have, yeah. Yeah. Which, which are both portals for incredible good, good yeah. like that, and in. Portals, portals for incredible, incredible hate yes. and, and vile and, and vile people. Well, um, what, when you do talk, talk about, about hatred, hatred, this actually is very timely for what's, what's happening right now because, because Kanye, Kanye West, West tweeted, this is it. Um, this is it. Uh, uh, just recently. And I, I, I'll read it. It was yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday morning, he wrote, he wrote, I woke up to this. Yeah, this is what he said in case people don't know. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going deaf country on Jewish people. And then he goes on to say the funny thing is I can't be anti Semitic because black people. I read that yesterday on my last. That was terrible. You saw that tweet and you responded immediately saying this. Also, on October 9th, the holiest day in Judaism was last week. Words matter. Words matter. A threat to Jewish people ended once in genocide. Your words hurt and incite violence. You are a father. Please stop. I burst into, I burst tears. into tears. I woke up and burst into tears. Deaf Def Con Def three on Jewish, Jewewish people? people? What, what are, you are you doing? This is, this it's, is it's, 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 I mean, it's bad, I mean, it's bad enough, enough that fascism, fascism is, on is, on is on the rise around the world, around the world but, but on Twitter, on a, on a, on a portal, on a portal to, pour to pour that in. She's right and about that right now. Yeah, yeah. Just, and just a little bit more. I mean, everything, every world at once is a movie about an immigrant Asian family. family. But what about black stuff? Okay, exactly. Now you can stop, Bron. You can stop, Bron. That's where I'm going. Did you Did you hear her mention black people? No. So what's up? So so remember we had this kind this Kanye conversation last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now look at the white outrage. Yeah. Look, I am not trying to negate what has happened to the Jewish community, the Asian community, or anybody no. else. But now Jamie Lee Curtis is on national TV crying. You know why they had to, she had to cry. She had to come out there with that um, emotion because, listen, it's it's already a split already because we all know that that they call themselves Jews and then we African Americans call ourselves Jews too. Yeah. The thing is, we are the real children of Israel. We are Judah. We're the tribe of Judah. We are Jews. We are Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They are Jewish, and they do not like when we go and talk about this stuff. And so when Kanye comes out with this stuff. Which is very vile. He sh she is right about that. He should have never said death con on anybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what color, what race, because he's not judging the jury on anything. But, but, then, but the mm -hmm. thing is, the outcry is always when, it's, when, when one of us is, is saying something or in the news about them, they never defend any of us. Okay. I'm telling you, like for real, for real, like they will defend any other race but us. It's known. It's always that. Yeah, way. you know. Remember yeah. Nick? You remember? I don't know if you know. Nick Cannon got got his uh, podcast taken away and his show stopped because mm -hmm. you know Nick Cannon is very much into. He speaks about how black people are the original Jewish people, are the original right. Jews. He's very deep into that. If you've ever watched Nick's podcast when he's not making babies, um, that's shade, but. Uh, and I, I don't. I really don't care for Nick Cannon either. I don't either. Right, but if he was but real, he real had to come out. Jewish person, he had, I mean, he had to come out and apologize to them to get yeah. his show back. And do you? Did my my whole point is, it's Jamie Lee Curtis did not cry because Kanye said black people are the original Jews, because Marjorie no. Green, a Republican, came out and said something about Jewish people. She's white. And she said mm -hmm. something about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Anytime, and, and I don't want this to be taken the wrong wrong way. 
But just standing in my square as a black person in America. Yeah, we're talking about our perspective. We're not talking, I don't yeah. know what it's like to any, be them. And they don't know what it's like to be but us. But it's like any right to speak our minds, though. That's what, what it is. They can't control, they, that's what the botism is all about, too. It's like, as soon as somebody says something in their opinion, in their own opinion, not even harm, harming anyone else, here comes these bot trolls trying to take you down, trying to shut you down from your right to freedom of speech okay and go ahead i'm sorry i just want no to it's out. just it's just my i've always had this thing in me like anytime anyone in america but i'm gonna speak as a black person anytime a black person talks about like the holocaust or jewish jewish people and it's not to negate what they went through there's always no, a comparison no. against the holocaust and slavery that was the terrible. reality is, in my opinion, we are still uh, we are still living with the effects of of slavery. Yes. And when I look at the Holocaust, I'm sorry, I don't see. I'm sure they still they still carry that pain, but the effects are different. And then this, my other point about this is like, you know, I look around here. I live in a metropolitan area. Do you know how many Jewish centers? You know, there's a school we all know about Anne Frank. Mm -hmm. There's Anne Frank schools. There are this and that schools. When, look, don't get mad at me. The mm -hmm. Holocaust didn't happen here. Slavery mm -hmm. happened here. Yes. And we, every we every community, we every race yeah, benefited and we, from us. So, benefited so, from our forefathers. Yes. And it's still so, benefiting from us. And so we're when the I, ones on the last step, we're 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 stepped on daily, and no one comes to defend us. No one says anything. No one. And so no one mentions is, the hardship is, of us. They're trying to is, annihilate our even existence. Exactly. And this is why I feel so passionate about how dare you, Kanye? How dare you come and you talk against the culture? Because no one speaks up for us. Like no we finally got a few people to speak up with a speak up for us when George Floyd died. A man had to die on TV. They had mm -hmm. to see proof of a black man dying to How care. embarrassing to his family. What and, a and now terrible thing. and you know and you know what now is happening, Bron? Because mm -hmm. of that BL movement, capitalism is in full effect. And although yeah. I love Target and I love all these other stores, now now these stores who, you know, yeah, you're like, yay, they're they're supporting like black designers. They're supporting black history. It's still capitalism. They're, yeah. they're making money off of our pain. Yes. And in you know our in, in our pain, it goes, it runs real deep because the thing is like we see that these people will take up for each other and they, they see that someone is, is causing us harm and, 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 and doing just terrible things to us. And they will not, they will stand idly by and let it happen to us. But on the other, on the other hand, if we were in that position, we would stop, we would yell, we would scream. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. it, it was a black young man who was recording that uh, George Floyd's, um, situation, uh, murder, you know what I'm saying? Right mm -hmm. on that. And he, thank God he didn't leave because most people would have just kept walking by seeing that stuff. Yep. The cops, the cops were standing there. That the, the Chinese Asian guy was standing there. The other white guy was standing there and Lord knows who other, other people were standing around when this was happening and didn't stop this guy. Yep. Stop this guy. So don't tell me about, so, I mean, like I, everybody has the right, but we all, even if me and you are two black young women, right? And we have differences of opinions and some things we share a commonality on, but we have the right to have our own opinion. We have the right to voice it without bots coming or without other people shunning us or wanting to blackball us or shadow ban us or censor us or come after us because they feel threatened because sometimes the truth is really, really hurts. The truth hurts. The truth really hurts. And sometimes it may even take somebody as crazy. I won't say that. I'm not saying I'm not calling anybody crazy because I don't want anyone doing that to me. Everybody deals with something. Okay. I don't know what Kanye is dealing with. Yeah, they were saying 
allegedly he's bipolar. I'm not his therapist. I don't know. And you can't believe everything somebody tells you either. But he needs to be and he needs to get uh around the right people. And, and people are using him, bronze. Yes, that's what I'm always saying. Candace Owens is using him. Trump is using him. You, do you do you know how great Trump felt? They they held a press like I mean, go on YouTube and look at it. They held a press conference. This was like when Trump was in office. Kanye sitting in the White House and with the red cap on. That's his prerogative. And he mm -hmm. says, "I look at you like my dad." You're calling you're calling Trump your dad. Do you know that Trump, I guarantee he got with his friends and they laughed so hard at this black man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's like Kanye doesn't know that the system is using him. They, right. they, need, they need a token to get out there. And, and shame on Candace Owens. She knows that this man had, there's, there's something. He has, he, there's something. We don't know. Like you said, we can't diagnose him. But shame on Candace Owens I for I don't utilizing like her. her. I, don't, I never liked her, and I don't think I ever will like her. And I don't have to like her because I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is. That's my opinion, and I'm, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that was dead wrong. What Kanye and Candace Owens was doing with the white shirt about white lives matter when you were black. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just the same thing as a white person putting on a a Black Lives Matter shirt, you know what I'm saying? Well, because and 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 the me, white the white supremacy movement during the BLL movement came out and wore White Lives Matter shirts. Mm -hmm. So that so what they don't understand is you're promoting white supremacy, and mm -hmm. and the thing is is you're moving away, you're causing a distraction from people to move away. Forget the organization. The reason we all know why we say Black Lives Matter because we don't feel like the scales are balanced. You don't right. really, you don't need to say White Lives Matter. It is freaking obvious. Yeah. They are the majority when it yes. comes to supremacy. Okay, because we don't have we don't have the power. We don't have the the we don't. Yeah. power and you know the uh, you know any in, in capitalism and. And, and being the, the highest employer to employ anyone in, in, in the world, you know what I'm saying? We don't have that yeah. type of power. Let me, so, ask you, yeah. let me ask you a question while we're on this, and we don't have to do a deep dive on it, but you made me think of something. When I've had, when uh, my friends, we've had parties and we'll have like this these open discussions, there was a mm -hmm. statement that came out and a mm -hmm. friend said, and she, she went to an HBCU mm -hmm. and she said, Black people cannot be racist. Have you ever have you heard that before? Yeah, of course. And I've said it before. I've said it before on my show. On my and, show. Yeah, and she says, and I mean, I would and surprisingly, I disagree with it because it's because being racist, you know, um is an action and mm -hmm. and you can't you can't you can do it. But I get the whole con I get the whole concept of what she was saying. You, know, you have to be, you have to be, be the majority. Listen, we can be prejudiced yeah. and we can be discriminatory because they are too. Everyone is. Um, yeah. Asians are, Mexicans, Spanish people, Hispanic people. Every race there is, is prejudiced or discriminatory. But when it comes to yeah. racism, that's that's more of a supremacy kind of thing. Like you're, you're suppressing us specifically because we are black you're suppressing us from finding jobs you're taking away our um you're using credit to to suppress us you're using um yep they use our names our names and everything our social security numbers yep. our your location where yes. you live mm -hmm. everything everything so yeah, so I'm glad we got a chance to uh, voice our opinion and, and um, you know let that out a little bit because someone needs to get in contact with you. I don't know if the Nation of Islam or whoever needs to get uh, the, the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Need to get mm -hmm. lights. Need to get in touch with Kanye, but somebody in, needs to get in contact with Kanye using the real scriptures. Okay? And yeah. You know, he needs well. To Kanye, Kanye came out and said, uh, this was before all this white supremacy stuff. He was on a show 
and they were talking, they were like, oh, they were talking to him about, um, he was talking about fashion. And then they were talking about a book that Bill Gates used to read or somebody or Steve Jobs. Used, and so I guess they thought Kanye would be interested in this book. You know, Kanye said, Kanye said, I don't read books. I've never read a book. He said, reading a book and I'm quoting him. He said, reading a book is like uh, eating broccoli for me. Not coming from a, a, a child that has been privileged all his life. His mother was a doctor, father was a doctor, or a professor, or whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Traveled the world as a young child. You but know. I say I say this to say like, and you know, if people are listening, we would love to see you know if people put uh, their their opinions in the comments. Yeah, Back. You know, yeah, they they're open to it. I love to hear difference of opinions because maybe it's something I'm missing. But I I say this stuff about Kanye because it seems like the younger generation are kind of like, oh, it's Kanye. I don't care. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm sure I was like that in my 20s. It's very, they're very like laissez faire, like, okay, he's saying that, but you do have to be careful to what you feed your mind. And you got to pay attention to the messenger. Mm -hmm. I told you about the, those two creators, how I, I ended up, we talked earlier, becoming like interested in them and following them. Mm -hmm. And little did I know, like, I'm following something that was kind of demonic. Yeah. Like, you got to be very careful about You got to be careful. And even with me, I know I touch on, I'm more of a truther. I'm more of a person yes. who can tell you what's going on. Like, for, especially as a Black African-American woman, being raised by Black people, you know what I'm saying? Living in a Black world, okay? That's where I come from. I'm, I'm telling you guys to be alert, stay safe, how to make some extra money doing this. Knowing that you're, some of us get suppressed. Not everybody gets suppressed. Yeah. Because they're black, no, but it's a lot of people that do, especially the ones who are trying, and then the devil or the, the negative energy keeps attacking them, attacking them, even our own people attack us. So I just come out here and be sharing my stuff on my other main channel and on this channel, and, and, and I do different stuff. I don't just talk about the same stuff. I lighten it up, and I start cooking or something, because I don't want my channel to be a negative channel. Yeah. You know? I talk about, like, even when you, you mentioned manifestation, I talk about that, too, yeah. and how we do need to start meditating and, and start more self-care and self-love, because we live in a stressful environment. We live in a stressful society, okay? Everybody's <laughs> Everybody's mm -hmm. trying to be the, the one. Everybody's trying to be the goat. And I believe that's what Kanye is so fascinated. And he's in that world already. He already has money, has already mm -hmm. has money. access mm -hmm. to politicians. Look at him, Trump and all this. And mm -hmm. it's going through his head. It's not he he's not be, he's not being humble. He's getting empowered too. And then you know he has to be very careful because people don't like when you become empowered. Can I say just a compliment about you? Because uh, Kanye is a, a content provider. He's a creator. You are a creator. Mm -hmm. I've, like, as you are aware, I've followed you for years. Mm -hmm. And I follow a, lo a lot of other content providers of different type of content. Me too. One thing I can it say. It keeps me sane. It keeps yeah. me entertained. It, keep, it lets me de-stress. And all of that, I love it. And they may see me drop down in their comment section as well as you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I one thing I, I can call say, in no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One thing I can say about you as a content provider, when you are trying to teach something, being a me a messenger for for something, and I'm not just saying this. This is where you stand out for me. Mm -hmm. You don't bully us. Mm -hmm. You state it. Give us the research. Give us your experience. You state it. There are some content and creators. I, there's also one that's out there in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say her name. She has that money marketing thing. That bullying. Uh, when you bully I know people, you're talking about the one when, who was just going through it uh, the when food, people the were food, attacking her about low vibration plate. and the lady in mm -hmm. the plate. So what I want to just say, just to finish the whole conversation. Your, no, no, no. I want to hear your take on that. I want to hear your well, take on that. I, let me just finish this point, though, is that with okay. you, when you are giving a message, when you're giving knowledge, it's not in the way you, 
You're not bullying people. When Kanye is trying to, he bullies. Mm -hmm. I've also watched um the one content provider. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want people to go because I, I it's demonic. He okay. would bull, he would bully people in the way he would talk to you. It's okay. all about how you deliver it to people. Mm -hmm. And I don't need you to True. beat me down for me to get your point. And that's one thing that, you know, when you're like telling us to go after our goals and or, or you're showing us examples of like, hey, I started this job and I'm doing this. I'm, here's my setup. Do you mm -hmm. know how encouraging that is? Because we hear your voice and now we're seeing you visually do something. And you know what? And, then, and, and if you are a long term, I'm talking to my audience too, as well as you, because you probably already know, because we talk. Um, I show people my good and the bad, but I may get a, a, a I get a lot of feedback too, because I'm an empath too. I feel that energy come to me. I feel it. I know what they're saying without even mm -hmm. saying anything. But it doesn't stop me from showing my um, viewers that I will start a job tomorrow. And it will end the next day and I will still not give up. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I will do it again and on them, okay? And it doesn't yep. stop me, okay? And I want them to do the same thing. And one, just because one door shuts here don't mean the other That's door right. shuts around the corner. You got to keep knocking. You got to keep going, but you got to keep moving forward. Whatever happens, you got to keep But before you going. go deep into that, can you save that for the manifestation part? Because you just, I didn't know you were, I didn't, I didn't know to ask you if you wanted to talk about this, but yeah, you just let's said, talk about manifestation. You know, I'm no, just no, talking about no, it for no, a long time. No, 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 not that. We're, we know, oh. we mentioned talking about that, but the plate, the plate. Oh, plate. what's I didn't going know, on I was going to mention that, but I didn't oh. know you wanted, so I never mentioned it. Okay, so let's talk about it. I'm not going to say nobody's name. But they okay, know, we won't say names. They probably so, even watch us too. And can I, I say keywords like low vibration? <laughs> Oh, Look, no, I, I just say actually, you can you can say her name. You can say I don't want to say her name because I, I don't. Oh, okay. You know how I feel personally. I don't want to promote. Well, we're not gonna do that because we're not gonna. I'm not. No, I'm not that type of person. I'm not. Even though they throw that negative vibration towards me, I'm not gonna throw it their way. I mean, yeah, we, I'm. We all well, know, I'm we just all choosing not to say her name. I'm choosing. Yeah. You know, yeah, not to we, say we read the blogs too, yeah. and, and I can say what I want to say on my platform because they say stuff they want to say on their platform and hurt people's feelings. And you know what I'm saying? But what happens is when they throw that negative vibration up to other people, yeah. when it comes back to them, is oh, they're the victim now. No, so no, if no. we if we could, I'll just quickly recap what Plate Gate without saying saying the name. So the background takes place. It looks like they're at a pool party. They have on bathing suits and it's a cookout and there's barbecue. So it's all kind of food. And one girl uh, comes up to the main girl. Um, and you know who main girl is. Yeah. And she sits next to the main girl. Uh, main girl got a plate of like a few things like some, sh some shrimp and one rib. And I believe that's it. Um, the other girl, she sits down and she, her plate is like, and, and these are paper plates, you know, mm -hmm. it's a cookout. Her plate has like two hamburgers, a rib, corn. It, 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 it's it's food, okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It's a cookout. Like, what do you do for things? I cook in the kitchen, okay? But can I also, I mean, this is going to be shady, but I have to throw this in and mention this. So, main girl tells the other girl with the heavy plate like that she's she's not royal and that if people are looking at at main girl's plate they'll say they'll say that I'm royalty says main girl and she licks I think it's just disgusting because of COVID now to like unless you're in the house to lick your fingers it's just disgusting to me that's a personal thing for me it's like you're <laughs> licking your fingers in monkey pox and COVID yeah, is still on the yeah. rise but main that's girl is cool. licking her fingers I know that's shady, y'all, but she's licking her fingers and she's telling somebody that they royalty while she's licking her fingers from her, her green nails. 
Listen, and main main girl know everybody's talking about this. I'm just yes, jumping it's on it at the it. end of it. So everybody yeah. understood what they had to say. So the point is, I, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but <laughs> if she can sit out there and dish it every day, you got to be able to take it. And if I yeah. little old me can rattle your feathers, that means you're not as tough as you think you are. And the girl, I mean, the girl took what main girl, she took it as a lesson. She was like, I choose what I want. I get the lesson. Here's in line where I have a problem. And I think that this is just a personality thing with me, heart. Mm -hmm. It's always how you come at me. I, I can't speak for anybody else. I'm just not that. I'm not that person. I don't know why. I I probably wouldn't even made it in the military. It's how you come at me. And from what I understand, main girl and the other girl are friends. Bronze, if you and I are at a picnic and you don't tell somebody to turn on a camera to make a viral video of me. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. That's why I can sit here and comfortably and and talk talk about it because it's strategic. Well, they know what they know what they're doing because main girl and, and you know how we we can disagree a bit. Because in my opinion, main girl has built a cult. So the the supporting girl, the other girl that sh- that she's making a fool of, the girl don't care because she's already she's convinced like this is a lesson. But you know what? For me, not for her, for me, you could teach me that lesson without putting it on the internet and making a fool out of me. I don't disagree with what I I don't disagree with what main girl was trying to teach her. Mm-hmm. Um. At the same time, I'm like, it's a barbecue. You know, you be eating what you want to eat, and the lines are long, so yeah, you get all when, them, when them cameras go off of people eating food. Okay, they ain't picking in a snicker for nothing, right? <laughs> well, and then I mean, no shade, but when you no see shade. the whole, when you see the, when you saw the landscape of all the women, they look like they had botched BBLs. Like the their stomachs mm-hmm. look weird and. Even no, with they exercise, they exercise really well. It's just they were thicker women because even I was into that. I was trying to do it, but the, the vibration was low. So, so let saying. me ask you then, because you you don't believe everything you see. So no, you, I don't. And I, and I, I test the spirits too, and they know right. it. And I'm the empath, so I, everything they dish at me, I dish it right back. So to you, me. so let me ask you: You truly believe just because you see somebody working out that they didn't get work? Before you saw them working out, because I know, know I, I you know it. You know okay, because I have here. a lot of allegedly. I have a lot of, I have a lot of girlfriends that I love. Yeah, that have like asked me to fly with them to Vegas. I haven't done it because I don't, I don't have that kind of money. And they got in the work and they come right on Instagram and they take a picture going to the gym. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a lot of what Instagram and a lot of social media is about. It's about the fuckery, the fakery, yeah, you know and the placating and the capping and all this stuff that you know they term they name as fake and flaw and stuff like that. When you're up here selling this stuff and you 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 really doing the opposite. But I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm not judging them at all because I don't even know these people. But when they come and attack me. Yeah, when I was being inspired by them, yeah. oh, now you're trying to make me feel real bad, and you yeah. call me a mean girl subliminally and doing all this. I'm thinking you're talking about me because I'm I'm up here supporting this, and then when I start seeing through the BS, and then mm-hmm. a lot of stuff coming out in the blogs and stuff like that, then I have to step back because now I've been labeled the mean girl, and you're you know what I'm saying? Oh no. Yeah. And Don't you know, me. you can't ever let nobody take you out your character. That's no. something that I have, no. I've been taken out of my no, character. Because, yeah, and I, because I, I was starting to, to get out of my character yeah. by defending yeah. my character. And yeah. I said, let me stop doing this, going back and forth with them, warring with them subliminally yeah. on yeah. Instagram. Everything that I would post out, somebody would post something exactly what I'm saying. I was like, they're attacking me. And nobody knows they're attacking me because we're doing it subliminally. That's when you are intuitive. A lot of us are intuitive. It's yeah. just in our nature. You know what I'm saying? But and, and we know we can catch stuff empathically because yeah. empaths absorb all that negative energy and then they explode. Okay? 
So, wait, you know, wait, I said, before wait. I even let this happen, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to nip it in the bud. I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to unfollow them. But they still, they still listen. They still, they still do the same stuff they do because I go back and check. I'm being and you honest. Know, and, and the thing is, is like, I mean, we know this, this is the day of like, if you can put it on Instagram, it can make money. The thing is, is like, I was looking at someone's, um, a vi someone's video and she's gained like so many followers from this. And, and, and like you just told me earlier, you were like, they know what they're doing. She knew what she was doing. So, you know what? I don't know if you saw, she did a, a main girl did a follow up video. Mm. Yeah, and they do that and they do it every year. If you haven't noticed, they do it every year. It's no, I don't. Everybody I don't follow. It's a game, child. But she, um, uh, right before the storm hit, um, the area that I live in, she, um, she came here, and I have a friend that follows her. And because I'm, I, I can be very passionate, sometimes too passionate about things, and I have mm -hmm. to temper myself. And so when people were like telling me to follow her. Again, it's my personal choice and I'm all about how you deliver and I have to look at how people, how you deliver your message and it just didn't sit right with me and I knew this friend was passionate about it mm -hmm. and so I don't want, I didn't want to like give her my opinion because she was passionate about it because sometimes you could, you could be a part of that experience with main girl and take what you need out of it. Mm -hmm. And leave what you didn't need. Yeah, and but that's what I was doing. But I was like, no, I'm being attacked now. I, I felt like I was being attacked. So I can understand how some of the women feel that way. Mm -hmm. Getting, getting sideswiped and, and um, you know, just yeah. set up. It's like it, it's like a setup. Like you, yeah. you feel like you're gonna get get into health and wellness and fitness, and then you're getting set up for something to take the fall and be their punching bag subliminally. Yeah, and, being, and, and then you start being embarrassed. Like people are like, "I'm not gonna buy this." You know what I'm saying? No, look at what he's doing. And she's she's up here doing it, being very aggressive, being very um, elitist, and being very nasty and and demeaning to other people. No, and then you are so sweet and stuff like that, and you getting into this. But it wasn't about that. It was just how they were making me feel as a person. And, yeah. You know, I'm human. I have a soft spot, you know, but I'm a good hearted person. I don't go around <laughs> acting like that. You know what I'm saying? And I just like, hell no, nah, let me get out of here before, you know what I'm saying? The, the spirit of the most high start breaking up some stuff. Yeah. Thank God for right. discernment. Yes. You know? Thank God mm -hmm. for discernment. Mm -hmm. But I have nothing against them. because, Like I said, I don't even know them. I don't know them, never met them or anything like that. It was just not... What they were into, I was not into it, and I feel like yeah. anything when it's and that goes against what I was talking about anyway on my main channel. I don't go, I'm not a clickish person, I'm, I'm very independent, I'm very to myself, I'm an introvert, extrovert, I'm an ambivert. So, whenever I want to be by myself, I'm gonna be by myself. Whenever I want to, you know, go in a big old crowd, I'm gonna go in a big old crowd, and I can do it by myself. I don't need a crowd with me, I don't need a click, I don't need a coven with me and i'm not into that stuff you know what i'm saying so some people need 10 12 girls to hang yeah. around i've never been like that like first yeah. i hang with three of y'all over here and then leave y'all and go over to the other three that don't even know y'all you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and you you gotta love i mean this is great nothing wrong with having friends and all that yeah. but you gotta love being with yourself sometimes yeah, you know? exactly. i love being with myself that's a part of self-care you know? yes it is that's a part Which of self-care uh, what i look like following behind somebody that don't respect me mm. you know say that and again then, what I mean, I'd rather be by myself, just like a man. I don't need a man, but I can get one and I can have one if I want him. But what I'm saying is I can be by myself and be fine and do more things when I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. And I can uh, accomplish so much without the people distracting me and pulling at my energy. Mm -hmm. off. You know and like saying? you that's said, that's time. all a part of self-care and. Yeah. We really should invest in ourselves and how we like I it's taken me all these years mm -hmm. um to learn to like love on myself mm -hmm. because things you go through in life, you know, a breakup, a failure you ha happen in life. When you go through life, I I feel like when I was um younger, I went mm -hmm. through life always like beating myself up. I I always hear like um 
I remember, um, I know one time we were having a conversation about colorism. I don't know if I ever told you. And this bus driver was like, this bus driver was like, you're the ugliest light skinned girl I've ever seen. Mm. And I was a kid and I like, I was like, and see, right. see, how, see how people can, and can do yeah. that to you and break and your so, self and, and Yeah. And I believed it because I was like, yeah, I don't have, I have kinky hair. I have this big nose. And then, you know, then hearing, I remember being in high school and hearing like a biology teacher say, if you have these kind of parents, and I won't say exactly what she said, she said, you're going to fail in life. Mm -hmm. I believe that I was going to fail in life. And I was like, I got to do extra because, you know, Miss such and such said this. And I, I used to beat up on If I had, um, if you ever talked to my roommate from college, mm -hmm. like she told me right before the pandemic, she said, this pandemic has been so good for you because you don't talk bad about yourself. I used to say, I used to say things like, oh, it's not a big deal for you to come to my wedding. It's, you know, when I got married, like, oh, it's not going to be that, it's not going to be that fancy. And I would, I would go down the list beating up myself. I would beat up like why somebody didn't choose me, why a job didn't choose me. And now I'm at this age, I'm like, I got to love on myself. But you know, when, um, I'll say quickly, the first time. God, the first time I felt God's voice to like love myself, um, mm -hmm. I always had this issue with my nose and my nose being so big and uh, like, and, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, you know what? That is, I mean, who hasn't had a situation where they felt bad about something? But it, what color you are, if somebody has had something, some issue with their body or their you know, size or color or, or complexion or something like that. But it starts to me in, in our home, for real. Like, yes. Like, because just like you said, how you was giving me compliments and how you thought I was and stuff like that, even though I'm a dark skin person, but I have a high confidence because I grew up around my mom who had high confidence and she's a yes. light, lighter complexion woman and people yeah. are like That's your mom i'm like yeah and stuff like that but i just like i train i teach my daughter you love yourself you beautiful you know what i'm saying if kids uh -huh. hear their own home from their yes. own yes you don't have to hear that from somebody on the outside yes you know and what my, I'm saying? that's yes. what builds confidence and my and um one person my aunt in my life was like a confident booster you know she would take the time out and she had children and she would take the time out and put me in like plays when mm -hmm. I was a little girl and through this that encouraged me like to be in the same sorority she put mm -hmm. me in that organization that helped boost my self-esteem but I was in a situation where it was so much negative going against me but my mm -hmm. grandmother also, like, she would always say, like, you're beautiful, but what's important is that you're smart. And she would talk about this other cousin who was Amen. beautiful and smart, too. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I I had, I, I'm not saying I didn't have that in my life, but it was so much more negative. And I just wanted to mention this one thing is like, I, you know, I'm really not that superficial, but for years I had this issue with my nose. But you're not the only one. You know what? I know, but I just, wanted, I just wanted to mention this little story. Yeah. And I don't want people to get emotional. And I used to like, but I'm so afraid of like surgery. And then I'm like, God, if I got my nose, like, what would that do? And I remember when I gave birth to my son who passed away after uh, birth, not to make this a sad story. No, but that's but I'm feel your pain. Him, I'm looking at him. He, and at first glance, he doesn't look like me, different complexion. But you know mm -hmm. what God gave him? My what? nose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he, and did, I was he like, did that oh, for a reason. God. Yes. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, how could I have ever hated this part of my body that mm -hmm. I passed on to my son? And from that moment, I, and not that I'm perfect all the time, but. You know, when I, I have learned and I'm still learning to like mm -hmm. love on myself and say affirmations and say positive things about myself. That's right. That's so, right. Because you are the one who you're the one who um, reaps the benefit of your self-love. 
Yeah. No one else does. And in order for you to love somebody else, you really yeah. have to love yourself. Yeah. You know because and no one, you, a man can you, fall in love with you right now and yeah. want to marry you right now. But if your heart is not loving yourself, you're going to treat him like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm just saying yeah. in general, like, because I've had that happen. Like, I've, I know. I know. And the vice versa for men, too. If they don't love themselves, and they, they, how are they going to know how to treat a woman? If they don't yeah. have an example of how their mother should have, should treat them and, and treat, treated them, if they didn't have a good upbringing of how their mom and dad communicated with each other, how are they going to know how to communicate with their wives and stuff like and, that? And so just you back, to what you, back to what you were saying, I love that you said with your daughter, you tell her she's beautiful. Like, you know, now with our generation, we are in a generation and, and the kids that come from us that we are in these generations where we we can we should be able to figure out how to do better. We have had two a lot of examples. You got the internet, you got all kind of resources. Mm -hmm. And it's like if you have children, tell your children like program yourself if you're not doing it now and you're a parent. Tell your kids right. they're beautiful and they're right. and they're smart because when you send them out in this world, it's uh, as especially when it's a black child. Mm -hmm. This world already sees us coming because of our melanin. Mm -hmm. And they already have this idea, this prejudice. Some, not all the time, but sometimes. So build your kids up. I think that's great to like say that to your daughter. Like, you know what I, always, I want to say this also, because like, even though someone, you, you as a parent, it starts in the home with your child. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're your child's first, you know what I'm saying, love. Yeah. Vice versa, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, there's there's children out here, children out here, parents out here, still judging other people's children, still judging yeah. other people's friends and family and all that based on their color of their skin. And I'm like, haven't we gotten over this already? Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's I sickening know. because it starts in the household. Your child is going out in, in the in the real world and showing them what it what your family life is by just the way they talk, by the way they act, by the way they talk to other people, how humble they are or, or how aggressive they are. Something in the household, something is going on with your child. You see it before anyone else sees it. Don't I don't understand how these parents can sometimes be saying, I don't my child is not like that. You knew how your child was before that child went outside. Okay. Yeah, show, children so show signs. If you're not paying attention, that's the, that's a different issue. Maybe the parents are not paying attention to their children, you know, because they're out living their lives. But still, it's kids that go to school and be bullied by other kids, calling them black. Oh, you black, you ugly. Oh, you too yellow. Oh, oh this and oh that over colorism. Mm -hmm. over skin complexion over size and weight and and my nose is yeah. too or she looks like a man you know all of this mm -hmm. stuff she's too tall she's flat her booty too flat her booty mm -hmm. too big it's too many it's too many people judging other people and you don't people don't even know what they're doing they they could be destroying a person by the way they're saying and back to what we were saying about how the plate and the low vibration that's low vibrational stuff it if sure not, is. If you're not vibing on a high vibration, and, you, and it, it could be a person who talks about high vibration all day, but doing the lowest vibrational stuff in the world, and it and it's seen, mm. and people are thinking I'm crazy because I see what I'm saying. Mm. See, this is you. You come need on, to say that statement one more time. Because, yeah, you need to say that one more time because I I think people miss it. They miss people are missing it. Are they like, damn, such if a, if a program. Yeah, program they program and see I can't get programmed because I'm already woke. I'm already woke. I'm already doing my thing. I'm all, I can't. I'm nobody's gonna brainwash me to go against my beliefs and and what I stand for. And what I stand for is not being in a witch's coven, not being uh, following by somebody I know ain't ain't meaning me no good, and someone who hasn't gotten their heart right, who hasn't gotten their mind right, but. But yeah, but they got the income, they got the this and they got the that, they got the that, and they'll throw it in your face at any time. Those are the people mm -hmm. that you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know, be up there right there with it as their bestie right now. But it's somebody else taking, get ready to take your place if you won't. You keep slipping, you know. Yep. And I, I just wonder, like, what um, these people that are close to to the main girl, mm-hmm. you know, like what you are paying to be close to her. It's it's more than just money. Mm-hmm. It's like she got you paying your humility. Mm-hmm. Your self confidence. Yeah, I don't want a friendship like that. No, I, and, then, I just, and then when you see the people around them, they're not as confident as you think. And, and I don't care how much they show it, but they're not that confident. I mean, for real, for real, they're not. Because as soon as that camera turn off, them people getting cussed out or ignored. Okay, we don't see what goes on behind the scenes. And I said I wasn't going to even talk about that. But you know what I'm saying? Since we do have a show and we have a right to express our opinions, we can speak about whatever we want to speak about. I'm still not doing no harm, but I ain't taking no right. shit. Either, so. Well, it's a, it's a, it's in the, it's, it's in pop culture right now. It's, yeah, it we, sure we is. should be able to talk it's about what's to be talked we can't about. Talk about current events. And it's no, but it, it is to be talked about. We yeah. need to see yeah. this stuff. We needed to see these low vibrational energies. Yeah, actually trying to act like they're very high vibrational, and then, yeah. and then they, turn, they they get they have their uh, bots go against the high the real high vibrational, you know, chosen ones. Yeah, yeah. So you know, even the ones you know that's close to you can be, you know, sometimes detrimental to what your causes are. You got to just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Are you there? I had to step away real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you want to, um, I think we had manifestation and then. Yeah. Well, manifestation, the- like that, that's something that you can do. Anyone can do that. You know what I'm saying? People manifest things every day and have been manifesting since they were young but when we start talking about it stuff like you can see it you can believe it you can go and achieve it you know what i'm saying you have to believe that and you have to stay on it yes it may not happen overnight because you want to manifest that's, it. that's, that's like key. The, that's the key yeah. right there i think yeah is that you gotta people, keep at it yeah yeah people gotta like i mean myself i have to remind myself like this you know life is not a race like mm-hmm. this isn't a race. And sometimes yeah. you feel like because you're not there yet to wherever that goal is, you feel yeah. like, oh, well, I, I need to just give up. But right. like you say, you got to keep going. You, yeah, you got to see yourself at that finish line. Mm-hmm. You can get distracted when you're doing that. That's why I say you can't focus on what somebody else is doing. You got to keep at what you're doing because it's yeah. easy to get distracted. And if you're a distractful person, you know, it'll take maybe sometimes a year, maybe months for you to even see it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. you gotta keep, keep at it. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Well, along those lines, um, I had mentioned to you, um, and uh, I'll, I'll send you the video and maybe we could talk about it on another show. But this um, author, her name is Trisha Hershey, and she talked about this whole concept of the nap ministries mm-hmm. and what it's ta- what what it's geared about and i briefly kind of scanned through her video because she has a book coming out october 11th or something mm-hmm. and it's talking about the need of giving your getting rest taking yes. nap, giving your body rest recalibrating yourself and how important that is we all know that like sleep deprivation causes yeah. like weight gain. It can affect your mental and your spiritual health. Mm-hmm. And she does a deep dive into this. Um, it's a great video. She um, highlights things like that, uh, that this whole grind culture, you know, when you hear people say, I've heard people say, I'll sl- I, ha- I have to hustle. I got to be on the grind. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Mm. And she says this comes from slavery. When mm-hmm. they would work slaves from like five in the morning to whatever time at night, no breaks, and you're just working, working, working. 
that is not beneficial to you. That's not beneficial to your overall health of your life. Mm -hmm. And so, and she talked about um, meditation and, uh, and and things like even just like daydreaming and manifestation and all that stuff. But um, I I thought it was a good subject matter to bring up napping. You know the power of like resting your body, and we and one thing I think we all know is that it is important to get sleep because when yeah. you get sleep, it does a whole, it does a lot for your body more than you probably even know. Um, mm -hmm. It even when you think about like if you have a scar on your body, mm -hmm. when you go and you rest, have your body to rest and get adequate sleep. Your body is like now like in a cocoon and in its healing process. And right. I used to think, Bron, that it was okay to not sleep. We all know when you went to college, mm -hmm. I remember like people would tell me like, I would be like, oh my God, I got this exam. And they would be like, you don't sleep in college. And I didn't sleep as a kid because of other reasons. Right. And I just, I just thought it was okay to like, I have uh, multiple periods in my life I can name where there are sometimes I I was up for like two days because mm -hmm. I had to work and I was like, I can't go to sleep. I got to get all this done. And as a matter of fact, I got into a really bad accident because mm -hmm. of that. And they had to take like the jaws of, of life on the car oh my to goodness. remove me from the car because mm -hmm. I was so tired. I was living in a new area. I took a shortcut. And it was it was softly raining, which kind of calmed me. And I went to sleep while I was driving. Mm. And I was off in like where the accident happened was like in this desolate area. Mm. And by the grace of God, like this man like found me. Praise he God. Found me just in time. And uh, I remember my ex, like they would not tell him. You know, I hadn't woken up yet. And I remember just seeing his eyes because he I had finally woke up and he he just thought I would he was like, Oh my god, I thought you weren't gonna make this. But my whole point is like sleep is so underrated mm -hmm. and it's so important. And um hopefully this lady will come out with an audio book. But um if people want to see her interview, she has interviews on uh, YouTube, and I'm going to send you bronze the link, but her name okay. is Trisha Hersey, H-E-R-S-E-Y. Okay. And uh, I think this is just like such a good concept to like mm -hmm. remind yourself to to get adequate rest, like start right. incorporating that into your schedule. And let me read these 10 um, benefits of a good night's sleep. I okay. found this just now on very well health. Okay, it says, how much sleep is enough? Most adults need between seven and nine hours of sleep per day. Getting less than six or seven hours of sleep for just one night can affect your next day. Chronically missing out on sleep increases your risk of disease. Mm. Uh, yeah, huh? yeah. And then number one, it says, sleep, uh, lack of sleep deprives you of these hormones. High blood pressure, worse heart function, overtime heart disease. Wow. Sleep, sugar regulation, mm -hmm. mood, energy levels, mental function, sleep stress, improving sleep, practicing relaxation techniques can help you fall asleep faster. Meditation, remember, that's a good mm -hmm. plan. Meditation music. But they said the beneficial one is the 436 hertz. You can Google that on um, YouTube and find mm -hmm. those videos. I love to fall asleep with those. And if you want to mm -hmm. mention that something, you can fall asleep to those too. She talks about that. That point mm -hmm. you just made, she talked about that too. Yeah. Or falling asleep to one of those ebooks you be talking about mm -hmm. too. Like Think and Grow Rich. If mm -hmm. we're trying to invest that something, that's what I do. Because it's like one of them, I think, was 11 hours or two or three hours or something like that. Mm hmm. But sleep and inflammation, chronic inflammation um, damages structures and increases your risk of many health conditions like ulcers, dementia, heart disease, sleep and weight loss. Ad adequate sleep helps with hormonal balance that keeps your heart healthy, reduce stress and helps keep blood sugar consistent. It also reduces stress, prevents inflammation and helps control weight. 
sleep imbalance. Um, you know, I guess the postural instability mm. mm -hmm. it can lead to injuries and falls, even mild mm. cause problems during sports or exercise. So you got to get that sleep, guys, especially if you're active and moving around a lot. Like I hit my knees a lot too, like for real, moving so fast. Sleep and alertness, you know, it's got to get that sleep to stay alert. Memory. Wow. It affects I a lot. Yeah, I mean, and and it's like some of them are obvious, but some of them are yeah. majority of them are things that I, I would have never thought about mm -hmm. that you know you mm -hmm. need from sleep. Yeah. So and that's good in memory. Memory is really good too because deep sleep is important for this. So more quality sleep can improve your memory. Mm -hmm. And probably mm -hmm. with retention, you know, mm -hmm. re retaining information. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what else it says? It says executive function helps you work with work, school, social interaction, and more. One night of sleep deprivation can impair executive functions the next day. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I believe that. Functions. Complex thinking, you know, mm. all of that planning, problem solving, making decisions, mm. also affect that alertness and memory, and repairing. Mm. And it says while you sleep, your body works hard to repair damage. The damage can be from stress, ultraviolet rays from being outside and all these, you know, computers and, you know, microelectronic waves that we don't see and other harmful things that you're exposed to. Your cells produce certain proteins while you sleep. They form wow. cells that let cells repair the day's damage and keep you healthy. So we got to get some sleep. On a recap, it says it is important for sleep for memory function, formation, Clear thinking, balance, and repairing damage. So sleep wow. is, is awesome. Self-care, yeah. too. It's a part of self-care. Yep. On that note, guys, thank you guys for listening. Oh, thank wait, one last started. thing. One last thing. Yes. Uh, we wanted to mention what October is uh, breast cancer. Oh, yes, thank you. Go ahead and talk about it. Yes, thank I you. Just I just want to mention, well, we we talked about this. We want to mention that October is uh, breast cancer awareness. So, um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, from my from my experience that uh, the breast exams are free. You don't have to pay that a copay because it's a part of your preventative care. Mm. And so, of course, if you're a woman over 40. You should be going to, and men, I don't know what age it is for men, but men can get breast cancer. But oh, if you're yeah. a woman over 40, you should be going to get your breast exam. And uh, one other thing I learned too is that October is also mental health awareness and it's also mm. domestic violence. I am a survivor of domestic vi violence from a, a relationship. Mm -hmm. And Whatever little thing people can do as far as domestic violence, like one thing that I've done in the past, I haven't done this in the last two years, but if you know a shelter that shelters women that are experiencing domestic violence, if you can go and drop off like clean clothes or donate or anything that is like very helpful or you can volunteer. Um, I, even when I was like living in other cities, I've always been a part of like some kind of domestic violence organization or contributed because of my experience. Mm -hmm. And so that's that why awesome. I was that you're sharing that because a lot yeah. of people, you know, keep silent about that. Yeah, that my family so doesn't even my family doesn't even know about it. I, I shared it with my sister probably mm -hmm. three years ago because when she was a little girl, she met the guy and he's passed now and she adored him and I never mm. wanted to break her heart but now that she's a grown woman yeah um I told I told her the story mm. and I and 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 also I think sometimes it's good to share these stories yes it is it's good we don't to talk tell. about them enough yeah because it, it may help somebody else when if they ever experience a situation or maybe it could help their friends or family members because yep. of that information. Yeah. You know? And but yeah, breast cancer. Women, our yep. children, especially, you know, stay alert and, and speak up. Yeah. 
-hmm. So yeah, make sure we get those breast exams, mental health. Like that's a continuing thing. We need to take care of our mental health. Yes. Yeah. Mental health, health awareness. It is mm -hmm. true. All of us need to talk to somebody. Yeah. I believe, I believe it. I don't care who you are, how high you are, how low that's you are, right. wherever you are. Where, whatever level you're at, you need to speak with some. Somebody needs to speak with somebody. Even yeah. myself, you know what I'm saying? I need, I need to speak somebody about my anxiety. Everybody has some issue. You know what I'm saying? I've been through something. Yeah. They're probably holding some things in that they should have spoke out about a long time ago, you know? Yeah. But and I'm you there. know, as you, as you talk to friends, you find out, you know, I think as we get older, we are more talkative about like issues because I guess a sense of like age gives you wisdom and gives you freedom. And so you feel mm -hmm. more open to talk. And so slowly but surely I, I talked to some of my friends and my relatives and I started learning like, Oh, you suffer from anxiety too. Or you said, you know, like, I never knew because mm -hmm. I was so embarrassed to say it. And they so happened to share it with me. Mm -hmm. And it just makes you know that you're not alone in this world, that somebody can be dealing with the same battle or similar battle that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's just good to just, just speak, to just speak, just open, just share what you know. You know what I'm saying? You can't just take it with you. You got to share your knowledge. You got to share advice. You got to be encouraging. You got to be inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that we... vibrational stuff, people ain't listening to that no more. Like, for yep. real, for real. Tired of so... getting beat down by them, them bullies, okay? <laughs> I know. I, I, that's unreal to me. But uh, before, before we end, I want to ask you, Bronze, what's... Um, What's a self care suggestion you can give, or what's something like what's something recent that you've done? It can be the smallest thing where uh, where you uh, did did self care for yourself. I'll say mine. Let me just say mine because it's gonna be really quick. And mine was like uh, I had extra points on this this card that I have, and I treated myself. I usually get the smallest cup of coffee and I treated mm -hmm. myself to a venti cup of Starbucks mm -hmm. coffee mm -hmm. with three shots of espresso because I needed it that morning because I was sleep deprived. Mm -hmm. And um, I treated myself to that and I went to like my local grocery store that was having live music in the okay. afternoon. Mm -hmm. And that was my treat and it was great self-care. That is awesome. Yeah, because that's the it'd be the little things. You don't have to have like the best of everything, or you don't have to have twenty million dollars in the bank just to have some to do something nice and fun. You know what I'm saying? You could go like what you just explained, buying you a nice cup of coffee from Starbucks, an expensive yeah. place that I don't you know, normally go to yeah. like that. You know, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and just enjoy yourself and then really take in that you know, moment, you know what I'm saying? Those yeah. are the little things. Taking in that moment of what you're doing for yourself is very important and it makes you feel better and you can start your, your next day off right. You know what I'm saying? Like one day so, last mm -hmm. week I think it was, I went and just got me some, uh, what was it? Some Dairy Queen mm -hmm. like dessert and uh, it was like a, what was it? Cheesecake? Mm. Fudge? And I went and I drove to the beach, the little river part, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Where you can just park right there by the water, the inlet. Uh -huh. And sat there and made my Instagram um, reels or whatever they call it. Oh, I'm so and jealous. Facebook, I wish I had and Facebook reels. And I enjoyed it because I got this people watch. You know what I'm yeah. The sun kind of almost go down. It was really pretty. And I was just, just me. Nobody's yeah. talking. Nobody's saying nothing. I could think about what I need to do next what I'm trying to manifest, you know what I'm saying, next, you know? I think you're so good as a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, like, when you blow up, I'm just going to be like, can I get some time in? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I, trust me, I, like, for real, I'm not trying to be really a coach coach. Like, I'd rather just do it on Instagram or uh, Facebook. But I really, my but you're coaching really without you knowing that you're coaching. You're already right. like you already have it, and I'm telling you, 
it's Thank a lot you. of great things that you provide, but for me, it's definitely mm-hmm. like your deliver. I don't delivery. Don't bully me into yeah. getting a message. Don't beat okay. me up and tell me, "Hey, fatty, uh, go." You know, like yeah. don't bully it's, me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because I've been bullied. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, I've been bullied mm-hmm. because I wanted to be a part of something that I thought was bigger and was nice and that was inspiring, but I got bullied. <laughs> Before I even got started, that's why I do videos like that. I say, mm-hmm. you know it was it's people that will stop you before you get started. Yeah. And don't yep. let them do that. Mm. Don't let them stop you before you get started. Mm-hmm. And that's sometimes, true. And you know what I hate when people say, like, I'll be listening to other people's speakers and, and coaches and stuff like that. But I get upset with them when they say, stop telling people your next move or what you're getting ready to do. How can I stop? How can I not tell them that I'm trying to be a public speaker? That's how you want to know you would be a public speaker. That's good. And what God has for you, He has it for you. Exactly. No matter what, it's it's exactly. like if you are gonna go out and um be whatever. Like I remember when I worked on my job, I had got to the point where I I got compliments. People were mm-hmm. complimentary at my work. Mm-hmm. And then they were a uh, project manager will work with another engineer and they would say, God, that that project didn't go so smooth with that engineer. I need to have you. And, you know, that's when I realized it don't matter the project. I'm the sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm the sauce. That's, right. that's what I'm, yeah. the I'm, the, I'm the sauce. You, so you, you, you could be an engineer too, too and I can okay. tell you how to do it. But mm-hmm. I'm the sauce. I am unique and I bring a different perspective. And so I, I think that's great because what you just mm-hmm. said about not telling people, because that that is being like shouted out to the mountaintops. I constantly hear that comment. Stop telling people mm-hmm. your next move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Some things, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to tell them. You think I'm going to tell them everything? Right. Thing, just right, 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 right. Here. I ain't right. telling y'all nothing. I might do 10 videos of talking about, you know, on subject, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I don't need to tell you I'm about to buy this uh this car or buy this. Yeah. But if I'm telling you I'm trying to be a business and yeah. how am I gonna sell my lashes if you don't know? You know yeah. what I mean? How are you gonna sell like your stuff that if you don't tell anybody, if you don't share, if you don't promote, if you don't right. promote your stuff right, if you don't get your logos and put it on your t shirt. That's what you want to do. You want to tell people. You might get investors. Like, oh, hey, bros, I heard you starting this or that. And it's like you're not telling them the details. Right, because look, I'm manifesting to become a public speaker. I haven't been on the money stage doing what I'm doing right now. I've been on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh My goal is to be on a stage. So what's the next level of me being on a stage? So I got to keep saying that. I keep manifesting. The more you speak, Say it to yourself the more you share it. Guess what? Somebody might hear um, they hear I'm a notary, they call me because they heard mm-hmm. I was a notary. They didn't, you know, how else are they gonna know? And you, and you know, like uh one of your videos, um, I was about to click on it and you had uh verbiage there. And I was like, I don't know if she knows like she is a marketing genius that just has not exploded, and it said. It was, I can't quote, you You have to correct me. It was like, whatever you desire, you everything will work out for you. Or yeah, everything will always work out for you. I mean, a lot of us are visual work. people. Before I click on your video, I see that. That made me go, oh, I want to listen to this. And and I was having a rough day. So, oh my God, thank you, Bronze, for reminding me of this. And I mean, it's it's like we're visual. All of our senses are tuned into what's going on in this world. And mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, I started to text you like, did, did you, do you know what you be doing? Yeah. <laughs> do I mean, you know I'm that you are doing God's work? Yeah. I've been doing this since 2015. <laughs> People done came at me all kinds of ways. They done tried to stop me. They done tried to take my channel down. They done tried to say that I'm doing this for money or I'm all about money because they see this persona on here. But this is just one aspect of me. This is not my own me. I'm a totally different person when I'm in real life. Like I still say the same stuff I say on my channel, but you can't get to know me based on what you see on this thing right here. Okay. Because it's always going to be somebody in my real life that's going to 
put you put me in my place, okay? Or try to put me in my place if I'm not a character, okay? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like people look at this and think, oh, this is, and oh, she's like this, so she's mean girl. No, I'm not a mean girl, but I'm not going to let you bully me. I'm going to stand up for myself, but I'm still a positive person. Just because we're positive don't mean we can't stand up, stand our ground, you know what I mean? Yeah. And speak yeah. our mind. Yeah, Jill Scott used to say that before natural hair was like popular. She was mm -hmm. like, why y'all always think that a natural hair girl won't get it popping? Right. <laughs> She's like, don't don't think that I'm just going to take you pushing, trying to push me over because I have natural hair. That was back when, you know, the early 2000s. Is somebody trying to come on here? Because uh, I have it open for three people to come on. Well, six people can really join a lot, but I think somebody's trying to come I think on. for some reason my name is uh, on there twice. Oh, but, okay. but I still, don't know. it still it allows YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, StreamYard allows you to come to have six people on if you're on the, the free plan. Okay. I'm on the free plan, so I get 20 streaming hours for the month. And I can okay. allow six people on, but somebody was trying to come on real quick. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, because um, we like to hear somebody else's perspective and how they think and, and stuff like that. Somebody's on your name. Jack, Jacqueline, again, touch your nose. Oh, here come the bots. Uh, uh, that's just a distraction. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been a great discussion, as usual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And I'm so glad that you touched on those topics of domestic violence month, awareness month, uh, mental health awareness month, and breast cancer awareness month. I really appreciate that. We talked about colorism. We talked about Kanye and his antics and um, he's just being reckless. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Manifestation. Manifestation. Self-care. Self -care. Mm -hmm. And doing the little things that, that help you, you know, de-stress. Yes. Pick yourself out. I want to go see the king. Uh, what, what was the name the of The woman. That? Is it the, the woman, woman king? Yeah. I think yeah, I heard it was good. I heard it's good. Mm -hmm. I can't go to theaters just yet, but if you go, please tell me about it because I I don't have to see it until mm -hmm. you know I'm better, better. Yeah, but I have to see it. But I heard that it's good. Yeah, I heard oh. it was good too. It looks interesting. And Viola Davis, she's just a stellar actor. Yeah. Like, yeah. just all the way around, she is. She owns her crap really well. Yeah. But all right, we're going to um, do this again next week, right? Yes, and um, I have to pay attention more when you send the link. No, I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to put the schedule on my page on this conversation with Bronze. I'm going to have to schedule it in advance and then share, mm -hmm. send you the link. Via okay, email okay. Or okay. Phone, or your phone, whichever is working with my phone. because they, You know how they do with my phone, girl. They'll shut it down and I have to get a new phone. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay. Right. I, I'm going to call you a little bit after this. So. Okay. All okay. right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you again Thank you. for the invite. And Anytime. Uh, this is our show. Until you get your channel and, and start your channel. You I'm not ready for a channel. but Yeah. I, just, well, yeah. I feel like it's a good balance because like I'm, you're, you know, like I just feel like you've been doing this long enough and, um, you just have so much knowledge and then I sometimes I'm overly passionate and I need to be mm -hmm. tempered. So it's good that we have difference in opinion and respect each other's opinion. So right. I appreciate you. I know I said this the last time. I do appreciate you for allowing me to come on your platform because it's also a way for me to get out what I be seeing in the world and I want to mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about it. We can do it more than once if you want to. Like, but sometimes, you know, once you know, week, yeah, I, until I, I get that like, other stuff taken care of, I yeah. would love to do it more. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So every Sunday we'll do it um, or Monday, whichever day is better for us, depending on how we feel. Like, yeah. Know, some days yeah. are better than others, but at least we'll do it once a week. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Good night, Good night. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.